Hey guys, Justin from yourdino.com here. So today I'm going to show you something that many of you have asked for, and that is live updates here in the graph window uh, while the run is uh, taking place. Now, per, uh, previously, uh, you had, uh, of course, live updates of the, of the gauges, and then after the run was done, you pressed save, and then the graphs appeared here. Now the graphs will appear as the run takes place. And this is uh, really good, especially if you have two monitors like I have here. Um, one monitor can show the graph window and the other one can show the uh, gauges. Let's take a look at how it goes with a, with a run. Here I'm just going to import a raw log file and it of course will look the same when you do a, a real run. Okay, let's do this one here. So here we see the wheel torque and wheel power being drawn in the graph window while the run is taking place. Now we are over in the retardation phase. You may notice that we don't have any engine numbers yet, and that's because in this case we have configured the dyno to uh, calculate the engine power and torque from the retardation data. So it will appear uh, when the run is complete, as you see now. Okay, that's pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. Uh, let's do uh, another run so we can compare with the previous one. So that's uh, to do that. We press uh, save and restart. Okay. And you may notice there is a new run that is uh, being added here. Of course, it says waiting here for a few of these uh, data points, and that's because the run hasn't happened yet, so it doesn't know the max power and max torque, etc. Uh, there is also the colors. We may not uh, like these colors, so let's do something else. So, um, okay, let's say now we are ready for the next run and we'll see how it compares with the previous one. Okay, let's do that. So let's take uh, this one here. Okay, here we see it happening and we can see that it tracks the previous run pretty nicely, very accurately actually, which is uh, good uh, when you haven't changed anything in the setup. Uh, so this can now be seen you know, live right away while we are doing the run, that's pretty, pretty useful. Okay, and, and in a moment we will also see the power numbers. Uh, there we go. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, so to show you the, the power of the live graphs, I have hooked up the dyno to a test instrument. It's a frequency generator. I'll turn it on and you'll see what it does. Okay, so it changes the engine RPM uh, constantly like this. This is useful just to create some data that we can play with uh, while we are uh, investigating what the live graph can do. Let's turn on the break here. Okay, uh, we'll do a manual start. Okay, here you see the wheel power and wheel torque as you are used to. And while this is happening, while all the, the, the graphs are being drawn, you can change color, for example. Uh, you can, let's go back here. You can, let's say, jump between results versus time and results versus RPM. Uh, you can and add more channels, let's say something like that. You can move channels, you can uh, resize, you know, of course you wouldn't really do all these things, right, uh, while the run is happening, you are busy doing the run typically, but this is just to show you that uh, all the stuff that you are used to being able to do here in the graph area, you can still do it while the run is happening and data is being logged and, and the graphs are being drawn. Uh, one uh, thing to notice here, <clears throat> I'll show you what happens if we turn on all the, the channels here. Okay, so as you can see, of course there is a lot of data now, so in practice you would never want to do that because you can't make sense of all this data uh, you know, live while the run is taking place. It's good to see that uh, the system is still able to draw it, but you can see it draws it a bit slower. You can also see the main uh, graph window being updated a bit slower and that's because the CPU is busy now draw drawing all these graphs and it's also calculating the min and max range of, of all the graph areas and all that, right? So of course you shouldn't do it 
both because you cannot really make sense of it, but also because uh, now the CPU is, is really busy and uh, and things go a bit slow. Okay, and now we don't even have uh, a lot of uh, of uh, plugins here. You can have many more data channels, right? Uh, if you have a canvas, for example. All right, so let's go back to a more reasonable setup. And we will look at uh, maybe maybe something like this. And now things are moving very smoothly and, and smoothly and nicely. Okay, good. Uh, let's stop here. I think that's more or less what I wanted to show. Uh, this feature has been, uh, you know, long time coming. A lot of you are waiting for it. I recommend uh, you getting a second screen if you don't have one already. Then you can watch uh, the graphs and the gauges at the same time. Really quite cool. I hope you like this new feature. Thank you.